The Incredibles is an awesome kids movie about a family of superheroes, but the writers snuck in lots of adult jokes, and some are really inappropriate. Stay tuned to hear a pretty shocking joke that definitely wasn't for kids. Do you love all things Disney? Don't forget to subscribe to The Things and give us a big thumbs up. Now we'll tell you about the 10 funniest adult jokes in Incredibles you might have missed. Peeping Tom the Incredibles wastes no time in sneaking in adult jokes. The movie starts off the day Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl get married. Mr. Incredible is almost late to their wedding because he's fighting crime. He saves a man who is jumping off a building. This grumpy dude sues Mr. Incredible, saying he never wanted to be saved. This starts a series of lawsuits and protests against superheroes. During the news report, several newspaper headlines flash across the screen. One accuses a super with x-ray vision of being a peeping Tom. We're sure most kids didn't notice this, since it was flashed across the screen so quickly, and we hope most kids don't know what a peeping Tom is. Let's just say this super was accused of using his powers for looking at things he shouldn't. Can you say invasion of privacy? Just the thought of someone with x-ray vision looking our way makes us want to dress in layers. Let's just hope whoever this guy with the extra awesome vision was using his powers for good and not for inappropriate reasons. Still, we can understand the concern some of the citizens in this movie would have. If you think about it, x-ray vision is pretty creepy. Getting busy. We think you'll agree that Syndrome is kind of a creep. Seriously, even as a kid, he's way too obsessed with Mr. Incredible and even stalks him. A kid like that surely can't turn out normal. He was totally born to be a villain. It has nothing to do with Mr. Incredible's rejection. When Syndrome lures Mr. Incredible to a secret lair, seriously, who lives near a volcano? And captures him, Elastigirl and the kids have to come save him. Syndrome is shocked to see that Mr. Incredible married Elastigirl. He's even more shocked to see they have children with powers. He says Mr. Incredible got busy. Really, Disney? It's totally normal for a married couple to have kids. There's nothing inappropriate about that. But Disney had to make it awkward and use the phrase, get busy. We know the writers wanted to make Syndrome have the most off-putting personality ever. But did they really need to squeeze in an adult joke for something completely innocent? If it made us uncomfortable, can you imagine how poor Dash and Violet felt? They're already being attacked by an evil genius. Now they have to think about their parents that way. Gross. Edna's jab at Mr. Incredible. Edna Mode is one of the funniest characters in The Incredibles. Fashion designer to superheroes, she's blunt, sarcastic, and maybe a little crazy. After years of having to design regular fashion, she is ecstatic at the opportunity to design a new, modern superhero suit for Mr. Incredible. She's so excited, she takes it upon herself to design suits for the whole family. Elastigirl is shocked to find out that Edna has created a new suit for her husband. She discovers that Bob lied about losing his job and that she has no clue where he is. Edna mentions to her that men at Robert's age are often unstable, prone to weakness. Adults know she's not just talking about donning his superhero suit again. Edna is hinting that Bob is being unfaithful to his wife as part of a midlife crisis. But with the way she says it, it could also be a double entendre. Sometimes there is a certain weakness that affects middle-aged men, and it is definitely not kid-appropriate. Regardless of the double meaning, the constant allusions to infidelity are not exactly family-friendly. Maybe Disney was just trying to make it relatable to middle-aged parents watching the movie with their kids. We sure hope this didn't said anyone who could relate too much. Frozone's Annoying Wife Before he was Nick Fury, Samuel L. Jackson starred as another superhero, Frozone. He's got some pretty cool powers. He can freeze water instantly, even just from the vapor in the air. Frozone is Mr. Incredible's best friend. Every Wednesday, they relive the glory days and find crime to fight by listening to the police scanner. Frozone wants to quit, but when he sees the giant robot destroying the city, he can't help but jump back into superhero action. He presses a super cool remote that reveals a secret part of his bedroom, only to find that his super suit is missing. He hasn't got time to go to Edna for a new one. He shouts at his wife, and they begin a shouting match that is all too relatable for married couples. His wife seems totally oblivious to the destruction happening outside. She is far more concerned with the dinner she's had planned for two months. Frozone is so annoyed and runs out of the house as she reminds him that she is the greatest good he's ever going to have. The annoying angry wife trope might seem a bit offensive nowadays, but it is often featured in adult comedies. Plus, fighting over silly things is definitely a part of marriage. We know in the end Frozone and his wife really love each other. Attracted to Power 
Mirage is Syndrome's flirty sidekick who lures Mr. Incredible to their volcanic mansion. She sends Mr. Incredible a message and tells him she is part of a secret branch of the government. After Mr. Incredible defeats the robot for the first time, the two have a very suggestive dinner. Mr. Incredible asks why on earth her boss would build a mansion in a volcano. Doesn't that seem like a terrible idea? She says that her boss and she are attracted to power. Bob tells her that seems very unstable, and she replies that she thinks it's just misunderstood. Mirage isn't necessarily talking about superpowers here. She's talking about something you might find in Fifty Shades of Grey, but not here. Even among adults, the type of power she's attracted to is considered taboo, but a lot of people think that certain types of activities are just misunderstood. Later on, when Syndrome calls her sweetheart after basically telling Mr. Incredible to kill her, we can see exactly what type of relationship they have. And at least in this case, Mr. Incredible was right. Their relationship does seem very unstable and unhealthy. We're glad Mirage realizes Syndrome is a bad guy with a capital B. She redeems herself and helps the Incredibles go fight her former boss. Pinching Rear Ends This next adult joke is way more obvious than the last one. After Mr. Incredible loses his job and goes to fight Syndrome's robot, he thinks he's working as a superhero once more. He totally finds his mojo again. There is a hilarious montage showing him getting back into shape, spending time with his children, and once again being a devoted husband. We're really happy to see that he's still madly in love with Elastigirl. But did Disney really need to be quite so obvious and inappropriate? While Helen is carrying laundry, Bob pinches her on the backside to flirt with her. Then then she uses her stretch powers to return the favor. A few seconds later, we see her pull him back in the house on his way to work to do things we can't exactly talk about here. They're married and in love. While it may not be wrong, it certainly doesn't need to be shown in a kid's movie. There are plenty of more innocent ways to show that they're rekindling their romance, right? Maybe a candlelit dinner? Let's just hope that Dash and Violet were at school when all this was happening. Think that's too inappropriate? Keep watching to find out the most obvious adult joke in The Incredibles. Just watching TV. Mr. Incredible has a really bad habit of lying to his wife. He tells her that he and Frozone go bowling every Wednesday when they're really moonlighting as superheroes. He lies to her about losing his job and lets her think that he was promoted. And he definitely lies about being recruited by Mirage. With all the hints that Mr. Incredible is being unfaithful to Elastigirl, it's no surprise that the writers made an adult joke about it. When Bob clears out his suitcase after being fired, he sees a suspicious envelope. Inside is a digital message from Mirage. Elastigirl calls him for dinner and asks if someone is in there. He acts very suspicious and tells her he's just watching TV. It seems like an innocent cover-up, but this lie is used a lot in comedies meant for adults. It usually means the husband is watching something very inappropriate that he doesn't want his wife to see. Saying Mirage's recording is just the TV seems like a logical lie, but it is totally a reference to husbands getting caught watching things that would violate YouTube's terms of service, if you know what we mean. It's no wonder Elastigirl is so suspicious of her husband. Insurance jokes. After the supers are forced into hiding, Bob goes to work as an insurance agent. He's not supposed to help his clients as much as he does and gives them insider information on how to work the system to get help. His boss, Mr. Huff, is a totally obnoxious corporate making the company money rather than helping people. While these insurance jokes are not inappropriate, they are definitely meant to make the adults laugh. Insurance can be really frustrating and hard to understand, and you might hear lots of adults complain about how businesses like Mr. Huff's Insuracare only care about making money. Mr. Huff straight up says he doesn't care about the client's coverage. He only cares how Bob is making sure Insuracare makes money. When he finds out Bob has been giving extra information on the inner workings of the company, he complains that they are penetrating the bureaucracy. We know these are super boring jokes to most kids, but we can guarantee guarantee you your parents find it funny and relatable. Honestly, we're glad Bob gets fired. He probably didn't need to throw Mr. Huff through several walls. We definitely don't recommend doing that to your boss. You should be more flexible. 
In the beginning of the film, we see Mr. Incredible change out of his tuxedo and into his super suit. He thinks he has plenty of time before some unknown event. When he confronts the purse robber, Elastigirl shows up and knocks out the bad guy. The two superheroes have some cute, flirty banter. Elastigirl suggests that the two partner up and work together, but Mr. Incredible insists he works alone. <laughs> what a huge ego! Elastigirl stretches all around him, even under his legs, and tells him to be more flexible. This isn't just about a double entendre. It's a triple. Obviously, she means he needs to consider changing his MO, and she is definitely referencing her super stretchy abilities. But the way they are flirting, we know she's also hinting at another type of flexibility. Yep, she means being flexible behind closed doors, if you know what we mean. It's subtler than some of the adult humor in this movie, but it sure isn't kid appropriate. We were shocked to see they already knew each other and were getting married just a few minutes later. They were pretending to barely know each other just to keep things fresh. They may not always be the most kid-friendly couple, but they love each other a lot. Drinking Game And now for the funniest adult joke in The Incredibles. We were shocked at the most inappropriate joke in the movie. Seriously, the writers didn't even try to hide this one. After Syndrome releases the robot onto the public and tries to make himself seem like the hero, the Incredibles have to steal a rocket to go after him. They encounter a lot of guards they need to take out. Some of the guards are watching TVs that show the robot and Syndrome. We hear one guard say, every time they run, take a shot. And then another guard pops open a bottle of champagne. Yes, these guards were playing a drink game. They were trying to drink way too many adult beverages. We cannot believe this was in a kids movie. What were they thinking? Drinking games are not a good example for all the children watching. They can be super dangerous. But this joke was hilarious and totally reminded us of college. Of course, Syndrome's guards weren't exactly great examples for kids anyway. We sure hope there are no jokes glorifying the dangers of drinking in Incredibles 2. What are you most excited about in the sequel? Let us know in the comments. And these are the 10 funniest adult jokes in The Incredibles. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching.